Tesla has just patented its new ultra incredibly strong steel exoskeleton. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the steel that Tesla is going to use to build the first car ever manufactured with an exoskeleton. What is the difference between this ultra strong 30x cold rolled steel versus just any ordinary steel? Well, here's what we know now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Great to have you here. I'm coming to you from Bangkok in Thailand. My name's Sam Evans, and I'd love to see you at Fully Charged. I'll be in Sydney at the Fully Charged live show next in a few weeks' time, actually. And of course, then I'll be there in London later on in April and in San Diego in October. Now, come and check it out. Come and see the show. If you see some crazy guy riding around on an electric skateboard, that's probably me. The Cybertruck's design is unlike any before it. Rather than the body on frame design of all current pickup trucks, ladder frame, chassis essentially, I mean, the world's been doing it for more than 100 years. Unlike that, the Cybertruck has an exoskeleton. That means the entire body makes up part of the structure of the vehicle. This has never been done before. This allows Tesla to increase the vehicle's stiffness while reducing weight. Now, I personally think there's a very good chance other manufacturers will copy Tesla after this. Could be wrong, but I think they will. And Tesla has chosen to construct the exoskeleton from the cold rolled stainless steel that it uses on its rockets for SpaceX. They literally use the same steel on a rocket. And they came up with this special steel to solve some manufacturing challenges, some design challenges with their SpaceX rocket. So this is not some steel they just got off the shelf. They actually had to change the way this steel is made. The reason being it needed to be more malleable and cold rolled steel is rolled at room temperature, which has some advantages. Those advantages include Talk News says, being able to produce thin flat sheets of stainless steel. And the rollers reduce the grain size of the metal, making it stronger and giving it a smooth surface. Now Tesla in conjunction with SpaceX came up with this new stainless steel alloy 300X to build the Cybertruck. Now a lot of people have been talking about this metal list. They are pretending like they're experts, but really, I've seen a fair bit of stuff on YouTube that I think is incorrect. So what is cold rolling stainless steel and other metals? Well, cold rolling is a hardening process that's used to change the structure of metals. It's often used to process stainless steel. And cold rolled stainless steel as a raw material has a wide variety of applications in medical, aerospace and automotive engineering. Cold rolled steel is well known for being an extremely ductile material. And it's ideal for applications where precision is necessary. It's used for a range of things, but never before in the automotive industry, never before for cars or pickup trucks for that matter. Cold rolling is the process of strengthening steel by changing its shape without using heat. Cold rolling, unlike hot rolling, such as with hot rolled steel, can only occur when a metal is below its recrystallization temperature. Where hot rolling is performed using high temperatures, Cold rolling is performed at room temperature and instead of heat, mechanical stress is used to change the structure of metal. Steel strain hardening can then increase the metal's strength by up to 20% and can also improve a metal's surface finish. So when Elon Musk said that it's literally bulletproof with a 9mm handgun, he meant it. It seriously is bulletproof with a 9mm handgun. Now, you know, if you took a shotgun or something, if you took, say, a high-powered automatic rifle and shot it, it wouldn't be bulletproof, but it definitely provide you with some level of protection, a lot more than a traditional car, that's for sure. So during the cold rolling process, when the metal is put under mechanical stress, it causes a permanent change to the crystalline structure of the metal. This causes an increase in its strength and often improves corrosion resistance as well. Along with improving its surface finish, Another advantage of cold rolling is better dimensional accuracy. You can imagine, right, with a rocket, you need precise 
dimensional accuracy. Without it, you're probably gonna be in a bit of trouble. A cold rolled stainless steel coil can be precision manufactured, allowing the metal to be produced to extremely high tolerances. The act of work hardening the stainless steel material through cold rolling allows us to achieve various levels of temper, such as quarter, half, and full hard. The hardness level depends on how much cold work has been done to the steel. Quarter, half, and full hard stocks have greater amounts of reduction, sometimes up to 50%, and this increases yield point, but decreases the ductility of the steel. Quarter hard steel can be bent back over itself without breaking, while hard hard can be bent at a 90 degree angle. However, full hard can be bent at a 45 degree angle without breaking it. Cold rolled metal is often used in applications where the metal needs to be bent without the risk of breaking. So what's the difference? Now there's four different families of stainless steel grade that are often cold rolled, and those are austenitic stainless steel, ferritic stainless steel, martensitic stainless steel, and precipitation hardening stainless steel. However, for the production of the Cybertruck, Tesla will use a special steel alloy. Does that mean it's an alloy? No, it doesn't. It's still a steel. It's just called a steel alloy. On the 23rd of February, 2023, the ultra hard cold work steel alloy patent was published by Tesla, which reveals more information about the actual material that Tesla is using. The patent describes a steel alloy with improved hardness and corrosion resistance for high performance applications. Tesla explained that there are many stainless steels that resist corrosion, including a family of commercial produced 3XX series stainless steel alloys. The most common of these alloys are 301, 304, 304L, and 316 and 316L, and are commonly produced in a variety of product forms. There are also other stainless steel products that are differentiated based upon their microstructure and method of strength, which we previously discussed. Martensitic steels typically require controlled heat treatment and hardening cycles to increase their hardness. However, such additional treatments increase the cost of the alloy, require expensive equipment, and may cause warpage of the target product depending upon the product form. In addition, corrosion-resistant martensitic steels typically contain a relatively large amount of expensive cobalt for corrosion resistance, which increases the cost of using these kinds of steel alloys. Tesla describes several compositions of steel alloy and different methods of processing it to achieve the desired result. They said this, embodiments relate to cold roll steel alloys with improved strength, hardness, and corrosion resistance, useful for creating products such as exterior vehicle body components. Such cold worked steel alloys may allow the exterior facing vehicle body components to be resistant to denting, scratching, and pitting while avoiding the need for a corrosion protective agent, e.g. paint, of the exterior vehicle body. Cold working strengthens the disclosed steel alloy in part due to strain induced martensitic phase transformation of the austenitic matrix, which imparts improved hardness and strength for scratch and dent resistance. Advantageously, the phase transformation of the disclosed steel alloy was found to have increased hardness and strength while maintaining corrosion resistance. Basically, Tesla is saying they have found a new way to make a version of steel which essentially removes some of the downsides without affecting the positives. Tesla says its new steel composition has a yield strength of at least 1,100 MPa. In some embodiments, the composition has a ductility of at least 60 degree bend angle at 1.8 millimeter thickness. There's a lot of other technical information that, that they disclose, but the key point is that the Cybertruck stainless steel alloy outperforms other stainless steel alloys currently on the market. Now, many of the naysayers are saying that the Cybertruck is really fake. They're saying that it's vaporware, it's never gonna really exist because making the panels for the vehicles, it's too hard, it's not gonna work. Well, how are Tesla actually gonna bend the panels that's gonna cause problems? Well, 
They'll do it using roll forming most likely. And roll forming involves bending a long strip of metal, usually coiled steel, that is passed through a set of rolls with each performing an incremental part of the bend. The finished product is bent until the desired cross-section profile is reached. And they're gonna do this in combination with precision stamping. Metal stamping is another manufacturing process that is ideal for producing metal products where tight tolerances are required. In metal stamping, a flat metal strip coil is converted into a variety of shapes. And this complex process includes a few different metal forming techniques like punching, coiling, piercing, blanking, and bending among others. Now I'm sure you've seen, if you're a keen Tesla fan, the delivery of Tesla's new Gigapress that's gonna be used to build Cybertrucks. And obviously, Tesla using the Gigapress in combination with cold rolled steel is a revolutionary new manufacturing technique. It's gonna make these vehicles stiffer and stronger than any other pickup truck on the market. They'll also last much longer. You can really see why Elon Musk is so excited about this product. I don't believe he's putting on a, a face here. I don't believe this is about marketing. I believe he knows that Tesla has a revolutionary new way of manufacturing a pickup truck. And that, more than likely, what's gonna happen is, CEOs of other companies, Jim Farley, Herbert Deese, the former CEO of Ford, Mark Roos, who recently said that Tesla is leading the industry when it comes to manufacturing, all of them will at some point admit that yes, this new way of building a pickup truck is better than what anyone else in the industry is doing. The key part here for Tesla is figuring out a way to mass manufacture these vehicles at a price that the consumer can actually afford and at a price where Tesla can continue to make their industry leading margins. Nobody knows exactly how Tesla will do that, but they figured it out before, and I think there's a good chance they'll figure it out again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.